Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your February 2022 predictions reading. So lovely to have you here. If this is the first time that you've been on this channel, it's most likely that it is. The way that this monthly predictions reading is going to work is I'm going to pull a card first from my Oracle deck. This card will tell us what theme your sign will experience for the month ahead. Then we're going to clarify with tarot to get very specific messages of how this translates in your, in your month ahead, like week by week in this instance. We're also going to pull love specific messages at the end of your reading. Now you are welcome to cross watch. Okay. I forgot to say this for <laughs> the other signs. You're welcome to cross watch if that's your thing, but I need you to know that I'm a very honest reader. Okay. So I film this for the sign that I'm reading for. And if you hear or see something that you don't like, then you have been warned. It's up, completely up to you. Okay. You're here at your own free will. So let's get into it. Shall we spirit Sagittarius? What is the main theme that they will experience for the month ahead? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you have Unakite. What's going on for you, sweet pea? What a busy month ahead you have. Let me show you this card a little better. Um, goodness, Sagittarius. Unakite in this deck is associated with the fire element. We have the root chakra down here, the Pluto planet associated with the number nine as well. So goodness. Mm. Unakite's a good energy, but it feels intense for you, Sag. It feels like you've got a lot that you're striving for in February. You may have specific tasks that you want to tick off your list, or there may be specific goals that you've set for yourself in February. I feel you really pushing to get this done. It's very transformative for you, and it's like you have to pull all your resources together in order to get this done. For some of you, there's going to be changes that you have to accept in order to move forward and this may be a difficult process for you because it's like um, it's making you think that you're on the road to failure when actually it's just a minor setback that's trying to bridge you for the more solid foundation that you need it's kind of an interesting energy it's like you've you've got to stay resilient in order to pull through this you've got to continue and not give up in order to pull through this and it's kind of like you have to also accept the minor changes and the flexible changes that you experience in order to get through this as well. Your key words seem to be um, stability, flexibility, um, I want to say perseverance and transformation. Those are like your four key words for the month of February. And with all this fire, it is absolutely transformative. There's a lot of like needing to pull through coming from you. And I think like you're going to, with that nine, you need to kind of hit a point where you have to be open to reassess your action, your strategy, and whether what you're doing is actually effective or whether you need to reconsider a different way forward that is going to be more helpful for you. Let's get tarot on the table now to clarify exactly what's going on for you. Group Sagittarius. <laughs> group Sagittarius. We have the judgment card coming out first. Beautiful card in this deck. What can Sagittarius expect to experience in the month of February spirit? What's going on for Sag? Oh, we have the King of Wands. I associate this with you, but it is more of like a Leo card. And you do have Leo energy out here, if I'm honest with that Unakite. What can Sag expect to experience in February? What's going on for Sagittarius in February, please, spirit? We also have the Eight of Pentacles. What's going on for Sagittarius in February, please, Spirit? Hi. The Ten of Swords. This is a card I haven't seen much of. The Ten of Swords. Are you going to show sweets? There we go. It is reversed, which I think is best for you. You have the benefit of being a fire sign that's also mutable. And I think that you really need to tap into that energy in February in order to be successful because things aren't necessarily going according to plan, but that's okay because they're continuing to evolve and transform. Nothing is set in stone, right? We start the month with judgment over here. Judgment is making you think a lot about your future by reminding you of something in your past. 
Judgment could be a very rude awakening as to this life that you lead, the lifestyle that you lead and the exact trajectory that you're on unless you change your actions. You have the opportunity with judgment in the first week of February to do some hard reflection and consideration about what path you're on and how you want to change that with the actions you can take. There's a lot of accountability required in order to do this. You need to look at your circumstances realistically and you need to understand how and what you need to do in order to match your, your um, desired outcome with the reality, right? So this could be as simple as just writing down a list of things you need to do in order to do that or getting more information about what is expected from you in order to do that. It feels like you're having a really hard conversation with yourself and it's making you want to change, right? You're wanting this transformative process, but you're also being forced to look at yourself in a very harshly realistic way. A bit confrontational, but I don't sense this coming from anyone else. It feels like it's a conversation you're having with yourself. If it was coming from anyone else, it would be a very confrontational situation. It's rather an opportunity for self-reflection and the opportunity to reinvent your future based on these thoughts that you're having from your past and in your present. Now, from that energy, we transition to this King of Wands and it feels like this King of Wands is strategizing and planning something. This King of Wands needs to feel optimistic and certain about what they want to do. So it's very likely that you may be looking to others around you for inspiration. You may be checking in on what your friends or your peers are doing and you may be measuring your success based on what's going on around you. I don't think this is a bad thing, but if you stay focused on what's working for everyone else, then you are inevitably going to also mimic their mistakes so don't just look at oh wow that looks so cool that they're, they're doing so well on social media look into it realistically and understand what you can learn from those those comparative mistakes as well as the successes if that makes sense this king of wands is wonderful but it feels like this king of wands is planning and strategizing based on only looking at the glass half full and it feels like you also need to go into February reminding yourself that you learn a lot more from mistakes than you do from success so just keep that in mind it's wonderful I'm also looking at travel here with the king of wands it feels like Sag you may be planning something movement in some direction um, that could involve travel but I do see that the idea behind this king of wands is that we want growth we want new experiences and we want the chance to experience things um, like success it feels like you want limelight energy as well you want to be seen in the limelight so <laughs> just keep that in mind if you're looking at only one point of reference you're maybe neglecting the reality of the situation as well look at that person's social media maybe also understand their mistakes and what's going on behind the scenes as well now i hope that makes sense it might resonate more in the second week of february but over here in the third week with the eight of pentacles i think that this is where you need to really put your head down and just focus because this is that stability, this is that constant that is keeping you stable amidst all the change, all the reflection and all the desire for growth. This Eight of Pentacles is looking like you managing to take hurdles and strides towards a practical sense of achievement. It could be like you're trying to complete a project or working hard on a task or really putting your head down at work and ensuring that you get a good paycheck that week, trying to really focus on your health and your fitness in order to reach milestones that you're aiming towards. Whatever this is, it's like you've already started it and this eight of pentacles is your constant. It's something that will constantly be there for you and it keeps you feeling grounded and successful. Whatever this is, it honestly feels like it's just me confirming to you that you're on the right path and that whatever you're working on here it's something that's going to pay off in the long term and it's also the one thing that is keeping you stable and grounded amidst all your growth right now so keep that up and the second week the third week of February is you just focusing on that with your head down it's like a hustle it's something that you're very motivated to complete or to stay focused on and I think this is also somewhat of an outlet for you because it does take up your attention so it feels like something that you can do for yourself away from all the other things that you've been thinking about. This is looking like a workplace situation, a study situation, um, something that you've like a milestone that you've set for yourself that you allocate time for. And it's just a wonderful chance for you to get that stability and normality in your life. Normality? Normality, I think that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now over here with the Ten of Swords, you end the week of February kind of being in a position where you have a near miss. It's like you're realizing something or you're gaining information that shows you that how close you were to either being betrayed or to having like the worst case situation happen. When I think of the Ten of Swords, I think of like the end of a tough cycle. And I also think of like, it could have ended sooner. Like we didn't have to get to this point. There were other things we could have done or other questions we could have asked in order to help us gather information prematurely to avoid this. So when that card's reversed, it's like the swords are coming out, the truth is coming out, the light is being revealed, and it's casting light on all sorts of pieces of information that were previously in the shadows. So pay attention, ask the right questions, and really piece together the puzzle. This could look like somebody coming forward with a confession and telling you something that you didn't even think about until it was here. Like it seems like a really random piece of information from you. You seem to be not expecting it and yet very grateful to hear it. You know, <laughs> it's like it's this is coming into your cone of awareness and then also telling you like, oh, it could have been a lot worse though. So not only did you accidentally sleep through that earthquake, but it was only a magnitude three, whereas um, it could have been a seven. You know, interesting um, analogy or example, but that's what it feels like. It's like you're bringing broad information and then you're also being brought the assurance that the worst case was avoided, even though you didn't know it was happening behind the scenes. So it's wonderful. I just think that it leaves more questions than answers. So it feels like you've got to ask more questions in order to piece together the bigger image and it helps you understand something on a grander scale. It may be a hard pill to swallow for some of you because it may put somebody in a certain light that you aren't used to seeing them in, but I think it's gonna be very important in order for you to move forward with healing, to accept this information, to pull those swords out and to appreciate that nobody was actually betrayed. It may have just been a misunderstanding or a lack of clarity at the time. Now, let us have a look at your love life real quick. Sagittarius spirit. What can Sagittarius expect when it comes to love in February 2022? What can Sagittarius expect when it comes to love in February 2022? Hi. We have the Prince of Swords. Okay. I see movement here. Um, hmm. Is this for you or for someone towards you? What's happening in love for Sagittarius spirit in February specifically? Spirit's like when? <laughs> February. Got to be specific. What's happening in love for Sagittarius in February? We also have the Six of Cups. So you've got a soulmate on your hands. Love it. One more card. What's happening in February? We have the Three of Pentacles. There we go. Interesting. Let me look at your back of the deck energy. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. It feels like you're making up for lost time with someone that you love. And it feels like this is either about nostalgia, right? Like if you don't have anybody with you, you're thinking about them a lot. You're thinking about people from your past. You're thinking about ways to spend more time with them in your future. You're thinking about where to next. There's a lot of directional questions with you, like preempting what the future is going to look like, getting a bit scared, but also excited. It feels like for most of you, Sad, um, whether you're single in a relationship or in a situationship there's this desire for movement with you and it feels like your relationship or love in general it could be like a helpful way of escape because you're looking at love in February is how can I move forward how can I move forward how can I move forward with this prince of swords there's this rush desire and it does feel like you might be having like some of you could be having someone come towards you in February and really want to see you they want to spend a lot of time with you um, if not it's just like you've got that desire. You've got that desire for emotional intimacy in February. I see many of you either looking back at old memories or trying to create new memories 
with someone. Um, the Six of Cups is really giving you this fondness, this desire to be around people who you feel like a close, intimate connection to. Specifically, what I'm picking up is like soulmate energies, you know. If you're in a relationship, I feel like you and your partner are really trying to create sentimental moments. There's a gift-giving exchange going on here with the Six of Cups and opportunities to just sort of have like a date, a really intimate, emotional date. Your relationship could take the next level during this like it could step up a notch and, and you guys feel a lot more emotionally intimate um, valentine's day for example is this month so maybe you're going to be celebrating that if you're in a relationship i see you and your partner planning something for the future and thinking about it in a in a way where like we don't just want to do this once like we want to do it um, make a big sort of sentimental gesture out of it and it feels like you get the chance to meet this person or to spend a lot of quality time with them in order to plan this you know it's kind of like oh let's both take a trip to this city okay um we'll we'll plan it over the next month and then over the next month you're spending all this quality time with them thinking about that i just see a lot of quality time for those who are in relationships you can't get enough of your person it feels like you're also missing trying to make up for lost time with them and feeling as though you still don't have enough time to be with them so any time that you do have with them is quality time if you're single or in a situation Relationship. It does feel like there's someone in your energy, either in your memories or physically moving towards you to try to spend more time with you. Most likely this person wants to give you something Sagittarius. They want to exchange something with you and they want to spend more quality time with you as well. If you are more single than the last Pringle at the bottom of the box, then it feels like you're thinking about someone or you're fondly sort of reminiscing on experiences and you're trying to move your love life forward. You're trying to get more options out there and you're trying to ask through friends or hint through friends that you wanna see people and meet people. You're kind of working together with other people here in order to get your emotional needs met in February. So that's what I see for you, Sagittarius. It has been a pleasure to read for you today. I wish you a prosperous and abundant February 2022. I will be doing a mid-month checkup for your sign. If you would like me to focus on one specific topic or theme, please comment your suggestion down below. This channel is still fairly new. I'm open to suggestions and I shall connect with you very, very soon. Bye.